guys. I have in my hand here a personal account from a Miss Ellen Shields. This was written in 1903, and it talks about the day that the Union Army came into Natchez, Mississippi and took the town over. They did this back in 1863. Um, this write-up is all about how the Union Army tortured and pretty much aggravated their family every day uh, trying to gain access to their antebellum home that they lived in. Um, if you guys, you guys that don't know, an antebellum home is a really big mansion type home that was built back in, the, back in those days and 13, 14, 15 bedrooms, that's what they would usually have in them. I mean, they were huge. Um, Union Army probably wanted these homes really bad because of, you know, how big they were and they could put a lot of soldiers in them and just basically take them over. But this family wouldn't let the Union Army come in and have their house. They didn't want them, so they fought them tooth and nail uh, trying to keep them out. Uh, there was a slave that this write-up talks about. His name was Uncle Ab. That's what they called him. He was a loyal slave to the family. Uh, but reading through this article, uh, Miss Shields seems to lean towards that Uncle Ab was one of the reasons that her house was taken over by the Union Army. And I'll read you an excerpt out of it. Uh, when I'm talking about Earl, Earl is a Union soldier, so Earl made the same demands the others made, talking about the other soldiers that always razzed them. Uh, men surrendered to him and house thrown open. That's what he wanted. So uh, my father's answers were always the same, which were defiant. The father seemed like he didn't want the Union Army coming in. Anyway, then Earl divided his men, placing one half at front hall door and the other half at the back hall door. I saw one of Earl's men go behind a tree in the front yard and take therefrom two of our axes and two stout oak staves, once part of a farm fence. We have always believed that Uncle Anthony placed these weapons there in consideration for a sum of money, of which he seemed to have considerable after this day, meaning that after this day they're talking about in particular, old Uncle Ab always had some money in his pocket. So, anyway, what eventually happens is the soldiers go in and take a couple of these axes and these oak staves and they pretty much beat the doors down to this property and gain access to the house um, and end up arresting the whole family. So Miss um, Shields talks about that. So I thought to myself, I said, hey, you know what? It would be really cool to try to go look for one of these axes today. And I remembered them talking about the oak tree, the, uh, the big tree there in the yard. And it just so happens that there were a couple of really big oak trees in the yard. So I started searching around them. And lo and behold, I, about 10 inches down, I found an axe head. So I'm hoping that that axe head actually is one of the axe heads that they're talking about here. So I think that's pretty cool, man. I mean, that's why I'm so pumped up in the video, as you'll see in a second. I was really, really excited, so uh, still am. I would really hope that this would be one of those axes because, I mean, it talks all about how the soldiers took over this house and they beat the doors down, and if this was one of those axes, how cool would that be? I mean, really, that's what metal detecting is all about, man, going out and finding history. And I hope I have a piece of history here. So you guys uh, watch the video, check it out. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think. I'll have uh, pictures of the axe uncleaned at the end of this video. It's going to take me about three weeks to actually have it back restored to be ready to display and preserve, so uh, just bear with me. I'll probably be posting pictures around the forums and on my Facebook page, so check those out. Alright guys, man, like I always say, keep on digging. Hello. Welcome to another episode of Digging in the South. I'm your host, Zach's Fire 69 Today, we are at an 1800s house site, um, long gone but we have a ton of acreage to hunt today. And the main reason I'm here is to test the new Garrett Edge Digger. We're gonna take it today. We're gonna see how it performs and uh, have, an, have a real life review of it. I mean, what else is better than that? Uh, I see all these guys online. They're not digging with it. They're just holding it. Let's get out and dig with it. Let's see what it's all about. All right, guys, I'm gonna take you along with me. Hopefully we can find some nice relics, maybe a couple coins today. All right. All right, the first decent period find from this house. 
That's like a piece of a horseshoe. And there's a uh, rather interesting story that goes along with this property. I'll uh, get back home tonight and read you a few excerpts out of it. The Union Army terrorized the people that lived here back in 1864. They would, uh, there was a picket post close by, and uh, every night they would terrorize this family that lived in this house. And it makes you wonder if this was off of one of those Civil War uh, soldiers' horses. Anyhow, good find. All right, next find, not a foot from where I found that horseshoe. I got another something in the hole here. It looks brass. I don't know what it is. Some kind of plate, looks like. Uh, not sure what that is, but it's probably off of the old house that was here. All right, on to the next All one. All right. I don't know what this is, but I see it in the corner here. See if you guys can see it. I don't even know if I can see it here. Let's look. Can you see it right there? I don't know what it is, but it's round. Right there. Let's take it out together. Oh, I know what that is. That there is a tax token. An old one. Square hole tax token. Alright, on to the next one. Stick right around. Oh here. my goodness. Dude, I'm shaking right now. <clears throat> I know it ain't much. It's a big piece of iron. But, let me show you guys something. I don't want to give away my sight. But right here is a huge oak tree. Huge oak tree. All right. In my readings that I've been reading, there's a, the owner here gave me a pamphlet that has the uh, family that lived here in the 1860s, 1864, I believe, right when the Union Army took over Natchez. And it talked about an old oak tree and uh, how this slave kept two axes and two staves out by an old oak tree uh, beside the house for uh, protection in case the Union troops uh, decided to come knocking. I don't know. This is a big target. I'm hoping that this is an old axe. If it is, you're going to see me do a happy dance. Let's take it out. Oh my god. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. That's exactly what it is. Oh my god. Y'all are not going to believe this. I will get home tonight and I will read the excerpt out of this uh, out of this paper that the lady, the landowner gave me. I cannot believe. I, I wanted to find this axe head today. This is what I was after. And it just so happens that's the oak tree. Right there. Beside the house. That the slave kept this axe for protection. I cannot believe this. I am super happy. I mean, you guys, I, I don't know what else to say. If that doesn't excite you, I don't know what will. That is cool. Now that is cool right there. That made my entire hunt right there. I found one of the axes that was talked about in the paper. Oh, dude, that is awesome. Hey, right here, my Garrett, she's doing it. I'm digging, man. I had to get my shovel to get that one out, though, because it was deep. I mean, it was beyond roots and everything else. But, man, that is out-freaking-standing, dude. Awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to keep hunting. That right there is going on the wall. Right, guys, got another find here. Just popped it out. Looks like some sort of a little buckle of some sort. Shiny. Maybe silver. Has a real pretty design on it. Uh, it looks silver to me. It's kind of heavy. It's got a little weight to it. I'll get it home and clean it up, and we'll see. It does look silver, though. Cool. 
On to the next find, man. This has turned out to be an outstanding hunt. All right, I don't know what it is, but it's something brass. It looks like it's green down in the hole. Some kind of something or another. I have to get it home and clean it up. Let's see what that is. It's cool, whatever it is. We'll see. See if there's another one close by. Hello everyone. After field testing a new Garrett Edge digging tool, I've come to the conclusion that it's a great digging tool. Go to www.garrett.com or any authorized Garrett retailer to purchase one. Thank you.